Mike Roberson here, PDGA number 101239. Proud to represent Discraft and the Discraft Underground team. And this is my 2019 in the bag video. I'm going to start off with my putting putters. They are the Discraft Challenger. Um, they are in the Jawbreaker plastic. They're perfectly tacky, and it has taken me a while to break these in to the point where I can't change. These are just straight now. Um, anything inside the circle for me, these are the way to go. Um, I know that if I've got confidence in my putt that day, it's gonna hit some sort of metal even at 30 feet to the point where a comebacker should be five, eight feet, and at that point, I'm good. Jawbreaker Challenger. I always carry two. One of them is yellow, one of them is blue, and sometimes if I'm getting discouraged, I'll start putting with the other color just so my mind kind of reboots. It works for me. That might be something you could try as well. On to my throwing putters. I've got three of them. I've got the Paul Macbeth Luna, the prototype, the, the tacky one. Um, it's got, it, to me, it's just like the Challenger, but it has more glide. Uh, so if I'm trying to putt from just outside the circle, or maybe jump putt from like maybe 45 feet, this is, this is the putter for me. Um, even an upshot, 60, 75 feet, if I'm not going to run it, it's tacky enough that it lays up pretty good, sits flat, doesn't roll away for the most part. I like this. Um, my understable putter, the... Plastic Addicts have it. This is my baby. This thing has Wes's signature on it, and this was one of the ones he got when he went to Team Plastic Addicts, and I got from him. Uh, this thing is understable. This thing is perfect if I need to get out of the woods and throw a crazy Annie, Heiser, any way that it needs to go. This thing will, whatever I put it on, most of the time it'll hold as long as I'm 60 70 percent it's it's going to stay right where i throw it and it's also really bendy also so the it just sits down flat hardly ever rolls away the discraft zone um if you don't know about these by now you're under a rock this is the this is the disc um over stable as you need it to be the z flex is unbelievably state un, unbelievably over stable it's uh it's, it's just, it's crazy. You can throw this thing as hard as you want and you can try to throw a roller with it and I almost guarantee you it'll come back if you throw it high enough. It's just crazy. Crazy stable, perfect to get out of the woods, perfect to just get out of jail. You can throw it overhand if you have to. And I like it in the Z Flex because again, when it hits the ground, it doesn't skip hard. It just kind of grabs the ground, stays where it needs to be. The zone definitely get you one uh let's see what we got we've got mid-ranges i've got a bunch of mid-ranges i'm not a power thrower so i finesse everything i've got two buzzes this one has been in the bag uh probably as long as i've had the bag so two years um, it's a little bit understable now, so it goes like really straight. I can flip this one up, and I'm not good at flipping discs, but this one is just perfectly straight for me. And this is a newer buzz. Um, it's also Z. It's, uh, I can just throw this one flat, and it'll, it'll turn just at the end there. It has a little bit of fade to it, but it's, it's another really, just another staple in the bag. Um... Buzz OS is basically just a longer uh, zone. This thing is unbelievably stable. I've had it for probably two years as well, and it's still just as stable as the day I got it. It's, uh, it's, it's crazy stable, but it's good, again, if you're trying to get around a corner or even get out of jail, but you need to go, you know, to 250. This is the one to do. The Discraft Soul. Uh, I just kind of picked up the Discraft Soul. I've had this Ace Race one in the bag. It's really good for, uh, it's an understable disc, which I'm big on. Um, this one's good for, it's basically a longer habit. Uh, I can throw this thing about, I can probably throw this thing around 250, 
ante the entire way. Uh, I'm not big forehand, so the ante, the ante shots are big in my bag. They're a must, and this is the ante. Uh, when I need a little bit of, when I need to just absolutely crank on something, this is a brand new Z Soul, and this thing was crazy good at my last tournament. My last tournament, I had four rounds in the woods, and I used this thing probably four or five holes out of each tournament. It was unbelievable. It's a great disc. Definitely get one. This is a great beginner disc. If you want to go out and you don't want to throw one disc, you want to throw a mid-range and a putter, get a sole and then whatever putter feels comfortable. The sole is where it's at. Okay, so the absolute staple in my bag. If I don't know the hole, if I do know the hole, if I'm playing like crap and I need to reboot the Discraft Undertaker the way to go this is an older run Z it's a 2016 run this thing is just absolutely straight it has just it's just the perfect disc for my hand my hand is I mean that's that's perfect I that's the most perfect feel for me to throw a disc hard and uh, it's just a regular Z just a just perfect if I lost this disc I'd be looking for one for a while that would do just what this one does. Um, but this is my favorite disc probably in my bag. And then I have a um, ESP Undertaker. It's, uh, it has a little more finish at the end, but it's pretty flat also. It, if you throw it flat, it goes straight for a long time. It's, uh, it's another good disc. And then I've got my Crystal Sparkle Undertaker. The Crystal Sparkle Undertaker is uh, a little more beef, but I can still I can still get it way out there, and then it'll it'll have a lot harder finish and even skip most of the time. So this to me is like uh, a Paul McBeth driver, but for me I don't have that kind of arm. So my nine-speed arm likes the nine-speed Undertaker. All right, on to the Mantis. This is a Big Z Mantis. Uh, Turns pretty good. It's a good flip-up disc in the woods. If I need to, if I need to throw something um, completely straight, like a tunnel shot, and um, I'm not sure about the um, Undertaker, the Mantis is where I go. This is kind of like a, a blanket for me, just in case you know. Or if I got a really tight gap, I don't have to throw this very hard. It, it glides for a long time. Good disc. And then I've got a, a Ti Mantis that um, is really flippy. It's actually kind of dumb because they're not supposed to be flippy, but this one is another really good in the woods, hyzer flip, maybe even turnover. If I need like an S shape, this'll, this'll do it easily. I don't even have to try. The only problem is the color. I have lost this thing a lot, but luckily I've also found it. Uh, let's see, we've got Vultures. Vultures a new disc. Um, it's come out not too long ago, in the last year or so. Um, I've got a Bowling Green Z uh, Vulture. It's uh, it's a lightweight one. I think it's like 167 or so. Um, it kind of runs for it runs for me a little bit longer than a, than a um, Undertaker. It's like this is the pink Undertaker on steroids. It has a little more finish at the end, but it's a good disc, and I use it a lot also. The Big Z Vulture, uh, pretty beefy. I gotta throw this thing absolutely flat. Um, if I don't, it usually turns pretty good on me, but it's good if I need to throw like a like a hyzer that just stays hyzer for a long time on a tiny angle. It'll usually hold that angle pretty good. Again, in the woods, you need every shot, so that's a good one. And then the uh, ESP Vulture. This one, I don't know if they're all like this, but this one is beef. This thing, I can I don't even forehand, and I can forehand this thing a quarter mile. This thing just goes forever. I don't know what it is. It's as flat as it can be. It's just, uh, it's a good disc. I don't use it a lot, but when I need it, I gotta have it. So the Vulture is another one to definitely look at. Okay, I've got the Test Flight Raptor. Uh, the Raptor I had in my bag since we started, but I didn't throw it much until recently, probably a month or so ago. And as you can see, I throw it a lot now. 
This thing is beat up and this thing flies far and has a serious finish at the end. I really like it. It's a good forehand disc. It's a good get out of jail disc. It's a good overhand disc and I never throw overhand. Overhand for me is getting out of jail only. But this is the disc I do it with. And then I've also got a Discraft Heat. Uh, the Heat's a really good disc. Um, I use this when I have a tailwind. Um, if I've got a tailwind and I need to go 300 feet, I just throw the Heat and I throw it hard and it just stays straight. Um, otherwise, I would probably be more comfortable with the Mantis. But this is good in a tailwind for me and it goes farther than the Mantis. Discraft Heat, good beginner disc. I'm gonna say the 150 gram TI Flick. If I need a, if I have to throw a forehand and I have to throw it far, or if it really has to just absolutely cut, the 150 gram TI Flick is the beefiest disc probably that I've ever thrown. And it's, like I said, it's a lightweight disc, so I don't have to try and throw it so hard I can worry more about my angle and my velocity than just absolutely having to rip it. And that's what I love about this disc. Another disc that I absolutely have to have in my bag. Uh, I've got a Big Z crank. The Big Z crank is a little bit understable for a crank, but it's good because my arm speed is not unbelievable. So. If I'm out in the, if I'm out in a field, or if I've got an open hole and I know that I gotta go 500 feet, I'm hoping this goes 320. This is probably the disc I can throw the farthest, so I'll usually pick this up unless there's a serious headwind or even a, even a mild headwind. This one's a little flippy. If there's a mild headwind, I'll take the Big Z Force. The Big Z Force is good for me. I've been trying to learn how to forehand lately, and this is what I've been using to forehand. It's got a ton of glide for a force, but it still has that beef to it that if you try to throw, if I try to throw it too hard and I roll my wrist, it'll eventually come back. So if I'm in a big wide open hole and I have to forehand, I can, I can throw the, the Big Z Force and I know that eventually it'll come back. I also backhand this in uh, in headwinds. So if I, you know, if I'm open hole and I need to go as far as I can in a headwind, I throw the big Z force. I've got a Z force, just uh, exactly like the big Z force, but more beef. If it is an absolute dumb headwind, if it's 40 miles an hour coming at you, I'll throw this force and. I can't turn it over so it it'll flip up a little bit I know that so I throw it on a hyzer but for the most part this one just looks pretty and then I've got a Big Z Thrasher the Big Z Thrasher is uh, my tailwind if I need to throw just absolutely as far as I can in a tailwind I will pick up the Big Z Thrasher and I'll throw it as hard as I can humanly throw which is about average distance for good players but it's another staple in my bag if I'm in an open course I gotta have this because when we are not in a headwind this has to give me that distance I want to take a quick second to thank Wes and Bob for basically creating the underground team and giving people like myself a chance to feel like a rock star and I know as well as me as well as the rest of the team appreciates everything that you guys do and we are going to try as hard as we can to continue to do what you guys ask of us and beyond. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Carolina Heiser. Um, they're on my mini. That's a group of guys that's an excellent group of people. Um, if you don't know who they are, find them on Facebook and just talk to them because they're hilarious and they're really fun and they're just good disc golfers as well. I'd also like to thank Francis Real Estate for giving me the opportunity to go to some of these bigger tournaments this year. Um, without their help, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at today uh, as far as disc golf. And also, I bought my house through them, so shout out to them as well. Um, I'd also like to say uh, thank you to my son here, Miles. 
he uh, he comes out and practices with me three times a week and if he if he didn't like this golf I probably wouldn't be able to practice and it wouldn't be you know half as much fun without him so this is uh, this is me signing off 2019 in the bag get ready for an update guys and please give me bananas <laughs> <laughs> and give us some bananas. <laughs>